This is Activity 2-1, creating a crosstab report. Now, a crosstab report in Crystal Reports is somewhat similar to an Excel pivot table. So let's go ahead, based on the file we have open here, and insert the crosstab. Now, on the icons on the toolbar, it's this little option right here, very small. I'm going to click that and bring it down, and I'm going to put it in my report header B. And you can see I have different options that I can fill in here. But I'm going to go into the expert. We always have an expert in Crystal. So we're going to right click. And, oh, I didn't right click right on the edge. And we're going to go into our crosstab expert. So we can see we can build column headings, rows, and the value of the summarized fields. Let's put over here in our columns our product name. Now when something is in there, notice we have grouping options. And down below, let's put our employees down in here. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to put our first name in there. But then we're going to set group options. And across the top here, we're going to go into our options. And we want the name field for this set of row entries to be built and it's going to be built on a formula. And let's click the formula, and it's going to open up our formula workshop. So this is how we're going to build it. We're going to expand here in the middle pane. We're going to find our employee table. We're going to get the first name, and we're going to join that. Now this represents joining two fields with a space in between. And then we're going to get last name. So we're concatenating. And we're going to check that. And we're going to save and close. And we're going to say OK. So we're actually going to show this summary um, as a formula. And then what do you want to have to summarize? Well, let's come back over here to Available Fields. What we want is to go into our Order Details. And from here, we want to pick, well, we could pick from anything. Order ID, and we could count order IDs. Or unit price, and we could sum order price. Or again, we could calculate anything for our summarized fields. But let's just look at the quantity. And it comes up that it's going to sum the quantity. Now, let's say OK. When we look at it here, it doesn't look like much. But let's take it out to preview. Wait for a moment. And we want to connect to the data source. And we'll just leave this. And we'll finish that up. We'll wait a moment. And there it is. We can see the totals. Now, of course, there are decimals in here. And the total again. Now we can select and get rid of those decimals all the way through. And this does go over several screens. But we could change the order. We could put the employee name across the top and the bikes along the bottom. That's the beauty of the crosstab. And that's the end of this Activity 2-1.